Hi folks, Astronomy Live. We have here a video from Paul Begley with Mike from around the world, reviving an old claim of Nibiru. Let's take a brief listen and see if we can trace down the source of this claim and find out if it's really out there. But here I'll put it up on the screen. Dr. Kaplan, uh, let me read it. Let me read it real quick and get Mike's okay. uh, take on this. Dr. Kaplan from a professor from uh, in Texas, from Austin, Texas, the University of Texas at Austin, identifying himself on the How Turner radio show, made the statement. He said, we have discovered an alien planet. It is in, it exists and it is inbound toward Earth, not to hit the Earth, but headed in this direction. It is an alien planet, quite large. We've seen it on a 2.7 meter Harlan J. Smith telescope at the McDonald Observatory in Austin or in Texas. Uh, and we found it on January 26, 2014, at about 10 p.m. Texas time. He said, it is coming from the back behind the sun, and it is headed in this direction. It is a planet-sized object, and it will be at Earth by August of 2022, uh, but we will experience, apparently say we'll experience, what we'll experience from it will be worse after 20, August 2022. That actually, it's going to affect us worse in 2023. So... Okay, I'm going to cut straight to the chase and give you the spoilers on this. Paul Begley is referring to an old debunked hoax video from 2014, which was created as a joke by someone who was at the time a student, Kyle Kaplan, who was recording images with the Harlan J. Smith telescope of a planetary nebula known as NGC 1501. Late that night as he's recording those images, he starts creating this hoax video showing the guide star that the telescope was using, claiming that it was Nibiru and pretending to be abducted at the end of the video. Now, this computer here is the guide camera. This is what actually causes the telescope to track. Now here you're actually seeing the planet Nibiru. This is probably some of the best footage you will probably ever see on the internet of the planet Nibiru. Now as it gets closer to the Earth, it will actually appear to grow in size. So if I come back, say, a month later, it might be, you know, right now it looks like that, but it might be that big. So we're actually pretty zoomed in here. This is a field of view that's about, oh, 120 by 120 arc seconds. If you actually watched the whole original video, it was very obvious in several places that this was a hoax. For example, he pretended to receive an email from the director who was warning him to stop pointing it at Nibiru. In fact, if you looked at the header of the email, it was visible right there that it was from him to himself. And at the end of the video, when he pretends to be abducted, he actually chuckles a little bit as he pretends to be hauled away by the men in black. Hello? Hello? No, 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 get your hands off me. No! So, no one who watched the original video in its entirety would have taken it seriously if they bothered to look at these details. But some hoax proponents and scam artists trimmed parts of the video that gave it away as a hoax and re-uploaded it, pretending that it was actually a serious whistleblower. Here's a screenshot of one conspiracy blog discussing this back in 2014 and trying to make excuses for the fact that they trimmed the parts of the video that actually gave away the fact that it was a hoax. They say that they deliberately only used the video in part to fall under fair use. That's true that using the portion of the video that is relevant to discussion is essential for fair use, but they conveniently trimmed the parts of the video that gave it away as a hoax. Now, you can't tell me that they didn't realize that and that that decision was not deliberate. That decision was made so that they could continue to farm it for views and create fear in people who would think that it was actually a real whistleblower. They then also tried to excuse the fact that Kyle later came forward and retracted the video as a hoax, 
which is rather interesting because if they watch the original video, the story is supposedly that he was hauled away and never to be seen from again at the end of that video. Yet here he is on my friend Daz the Caraman's channel being interviewed and coming out to retract the video as a hoax. We've got a guest on the video right here and this is Professor Kaplan from the YouTube video that we just watched. And uh, of course, uh, Kyle, uh, welcome. And you're not actually a professor, um, but you are studying at the University of Texas at, at Austin. And uh, you are studying for your PhD of astronomy, am I correct? Yes, and yes. Just tell us a little bit more about uh, your studies there, Kyle. So I am a third year graduate student here, and I am currently studying planetary nebula, which are the which is a cloud that sort of is around the dead core of a star. So when a star like our sun dies, the outer layers of it puff off and make these beautiful looking nebula. Now, they're not really planets, that's just sort of an archaic name. Right, but, so um, now you uploaded this video which has caused quite a stir online. A lot of people have grabbed your video and have been uploading it to their YouTube channels. Now. Why did you make this this video, Kyle? I made it as a joke. <laughs> right, you made it as a joke for some of your close friends. Yes. Okay, and of course it's uh, spread like wildfire, and uh, yes. some people are taking it very seriously, and of course at the end of your video we saw that you were uh, abducted and dragged away. <laughs> Never to be seen again. Yes. <laughs> it was. It was meant to be a you know, like found footage. All right. Okay, a couple things to note there. First of all, he's obviously alive and well, despite what the hoax video would suggest. Secondly, he's studying planetary nebula. Well, the coordinates he gave and the guide star he shows in the video that he claims is Nibiru is right next to a planetary nebula, NGC 1501. That's what he was actually studying that night while making the hoax video. That's why the observatory was looking at those coordinates and tracking it, answering the question raised in the first paragraph of this screenshot, which it claims is an inconvenient truth. Not at all. It makes perfect sense. Those coordinates are right next to a planetary nebula that the observatory was studying. Now, some might point out that in the original hoax video, he actually mentions the planetary nebula, and some will say that this is just a cover for the fact that he was actually at those coordinates to study Nibiru. After all, this blog is trying to make the argument that his retraction was actually insincere, and that this was actually just a cover-up to prevent him from being put out to pasture or offed by the powers that be. Now to calculate an orbital solution for Nibiru, I have to observe it over several nights. My observing run, which I propose to observe planetary nebula, is for four nights. So hopefully I'll get enough information about its changes in position over over the four nights I have to be able to calculate a decent orbital solution. So in the original hoax video, Kyle plans to observe those coordinates over several nights in order to detect the motion of the object and calculate the orbit. That is how you would do it if it were a real solar system object. You would observe it repeatedly over multiple nights and using the astrometry of its coordinates and its motion, you could calculate the orbit. Now, I actually took a shot of those coordinates back in 2014, within about 48 hours of that hoax video being created. As soon as it hit the web and started to go viral, I fired up T21 on the iTelescope network and took a shot of the coordinates he gave. In fact, it recorded the whole area around those coordinates, including NGC 1501. And you can actually see the original guide star that he shows in the hoax video. I've mirrored the view here to match the orientation of his video. And as I fade in an overlay of the guiding field of view that he was using, you can see that it's a perfect match for the stars contained in this image. You can also see the central star that he was pointing out as Nibiru hasn't moved. Now, the time code shown in the previous frame was in universal time, so it was actually taken on January 28th by Texas time, or about two days after the original hoax video. I've now taken a new shot this year and we can see that that guide star still hasn't moved almost eight years later. This five minute exposure was recorded during my previous live webcast. And to sum up, what this means is that this really isn't Nibiru, it's not a solar system object, it really is just a background star that was being used for guiding by the Harlan J. Smith telescope back in 2014. 
Now, what's interesting to me is that Paul Begley is trying to breathe new life into this hoax by modifying certain aspects of it, claiming that Kyle said that this thing was going to approach Earth in August 2022. The original video very clearly stated August 2014. So that means it will, if it's on a collision course for the Earth, hit us in about August 2014. So why would this pastor, Paul Begley, lie about this and alter the hoax to make it current and relevant? Well, it turns out that he's currently planning to host a Planet X summit featuring himself, featuring Gil Broussard, featuring Mike from around the world who was on that video with him and others, and he's going to be charging people $39 a head to attend. So maybe that's why he's trying to breathe new life into this hoax. In any case, you don't have to trust him. You don't even have to trust NASA. You don't even have to trust the retraction of Kyle Kaplan himself. Anyone can rent time on an eye telescope and point it at those coordinates and see for themselves that this guide star hasn't moved in eight years. There's nothing preventing you from investigating this yourself, and I encourage you to do your own research. And don't trust so-called gurus who are charging you $39 to hear their spiel about Planet X and the approach of Nibiru and the doomsday it will supposedly bring this year. Till next time, thanks for watching, and clear skies, folks.